Hello and uh, once again, it's been a while since I made a video and uh, again I have been uh, wandering around YouTube and maybe you might have uh, encountered one of these videos. It's been a viral video. Uh, it's, a, it's entitled Bad Apple and uh, many people have made different versions of it uh, for example you see this uh, one that's made by using minesweeper and as you can see it's uh, very it's very awesome uh, but oh yeah and there's also one made using uh, Notepad and again, it's really, really very uh, amazing if you ask. Me. Whoever created this uh, must have had a lot of time and they took a lot of effort making this. But today, uh, I thought I'd show you a way that I, I just thought of this using. Uh, we can achieve the same effect using After Effects and uh, instead of uh, spending uh, hours, days and even weeks uh, typing here or uh, even putting flags in here, uh, we can do this faster in less than 10 minutes I guess. So, uh, so let's begin. So first we need the uh, screenshot of whatever we're going to use uh, I'm going to copy this one I'm going to use notepad and I have a picture already in here and I just type parable continuously and uh, I have a video of bad apple again uh, this is the original PV except that it has no subtitles And we need uh, Adobe After Effects. So uh, first, we need to import our files. Uh, we'll uh, put in Notepad and Bad Apple. Oh yeah, uh, to get After Effects, you need to buy this, or you can download from various sources uh, as long as you use it personally. Okay. Uh, first, we need to drag the notepad image into our timeline. As you can see, it's in there. Then, we need the Bad Apple uh, video file and put it, uh, I guess, for now, put it over. And while using the selection tool, uh, just uh, align this uh, video uh, nicely in there. Uh, that should be good. And uh, here's the really cool part. Uh, it's so easy to do this because uh, we're going to uh, take advantage of this. Uh, as you can see, uh, one thing that's cool about this video is uh, it's like it's made for this because it's already black and white. It's very easy to key out the, to key all the stuff. And we're going to apply a mask into our notepad. So uh, all the white lines will be shown and the black ones will be bla uh, hidden. So to do that, uh, if you're in here, click the toggle switches and modes. And on the, and uh, yeah, we put this under, and on the bad apple video while it's selected the layer, click the track mat and select Luma inverted mat according to the notepad. According to the notepad video, and make this visible. 
uh, as you can see it's uh, still hidden so now we just put it over and put the track mat to bad apple as you can see now the you're now seeing what's the what the desired effect uh, but the problem is now that the background is transparent so to fix that we all need all we need to do is go to layers new and add solid and make it a white one because notepad is white and put it under all the layers and now you can see that the what we're seeing now is like uh, we're animating this according to uh, like what we see in the video but one problem is you see that these lines are they're too easily detected so uh, what we need to do is uh, enable our video again and we can go here and type mosaic mosaic or if you want we can go to effect while well, our video is selected in fact and uh, where is it stylize and click mosaic because there's two kinds of mosaic in here there's synthetic and stylized and we need stylized and enable sharp colors so that it will be hardly pixelated and uh, just adjust this uh, horizontal blocks and uh, maybe we can use uh, 90 I guess but 90 so that it would be hardly pixelated so that uh, maybe we go for 80 just uh, we can spend a lot more time tweaking this but at least you get the idea that we're avoiding the, the just like this just like this one we're avoiding the pixels from being seen that it's just a layer mask because we're basically applying a layer mask into this video so that the output is like uh, it's like the the one that we see on YouTube so if we play this you you see that it looks similarly close to the one like I showed you so you can make your own version of this and uh, that's basically it no? it's very easy it took us around uh, eight minutes to do this uh, less than eight minutes actually to achieve this effect uh, there's actually a lot more ways to do this or you can uh, if you're if you have a lot of time you can keep typing and then erasing and erasing just like this one and then take a print screen of your desktop uh, paste it on paint crop it put it on move maker move maker or whatever and make a uh, stop motion animation just like this one so uh this is a very very cool effect so uh uh you can try this out and uh it's a very cool one oh and i'm not saying that they made this using layer masks uh you know these people have a lot of time in their hands so uh, maybe they really are determined to do this so, uh, so I'm just showing you another way of achieving the same effect using After Effects so uh, thanks for watching my quick video and uh, I'll see you guys real soon